Hello. What I thought I'd do in this tutorial is demonstrate how to make a door that activates with a keycard. So to begin with, I've made this little interior, which is going to be where I'm going to demonstrate it. But I assume you might have something uh, planned out for your mod. All you need is a door with a kind of frame space in it to put it. Or you might have one of the, um, there is a security gate item that you could have uh, so you know these are the ones that you might normally see in the game with the opening like this blocking your way and uh, there are also extra uh, fencing walls to make it longer but what I've done is I've just made a door with a frame because that'll fit as well so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my security door which is in the activator section under world objects and I've already written security in so it should come up so for this I'm using security gate small but obviously you can use any type of security gate that's going to fit in your gap and then I'm going to place into the world my ID card reader as well like that. and just place it somewhere that's going to be within the player's reach so about there should do that's sort of roughly head height thing and then we're going to need to create an ID card that's actually going to open it so that's a misc object so let me see if I filter the card, uh, really any of these will do, um, janitor ID card. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to edit this ID card, I'm going to call it tutorial ID card, like that. and then get a, a unique name, ID card. So this part has to be unique because this is the ID for the editor, this is the ID that's actually going to show up in uh, the game. and if you're editing an existing ID card, you don't need to add these keywords. These aren't essential for the tutorial, but they are essential to stop you accidentally uh, getting rid of it. So if it's not a junk jet ammo, it means it's not considered to be junk. So you can't load it into your uh, junk jet and you can't store all junk and put it away. And it unscrappable means you can't drop it on the floor and, you know, scrap it as part of the, uh, the workshop system. But those aren't essential for the tutorial and you'll already have those on there anyway if you were uh, editing an existing ID card. So we don't need to worry about it. And then we're just going to click and drag our ID card into the world. I mean probably really you could make the ID card look like anything you wanted but I don't know why you would want to do that. The fact that it is this item isn't really important, that's just for the appearance. So I've just clicked and dragged and placed it into the world and obviously for tutorial purposes it's just going to be literally on a table right there. So those are the three items that we actually need. So now we're going to set it up. And it's quite straightforward really to set up. Most of it's already done for us. So we can double click our ID card reader. And we want to go to this linked ref tab. If you can't see it, uh, scroll left and right like that. But you should just be able to see it by default. Click right click, new. Select reference in vendor window. And we're going to select our door. And we don't need to attach a keyword or anything. We can just hit OK. And then we're going to go across here to the scripts and again most of this is already done we're just going to need to edit a few properties so if we hit properties see you can see all this is already filled in with the exception of anything to do with quests and anything to do with the these uh, ID card properties so we're going to go into ID card and we're going to double click in here and we're going to find the ID card that we just made so that's going to set it up now so that if a player doesn't have this ID card, the door won't open. If they do have the ID card, it will activate whatever the object's linked reference is, which is the door, which means the door will be activated and will open. And this isn't mandatory. I mean, it says required, but I kind of don't think it is. It's not required for a script to work. It's just required because otherwise it's not a lamp, I guess. And we're just going to search for the same thing, player ID card reader activation. This one's not required because all this does is when you swipe it and you don't have the key card, the player will just say something. So I guess you could put anything in there. You could make your own, you could make your own scene and have that play if the player doesn't have the ID card. All of these optional properties, this is just, you know, if you wanted to set a particular stage. So if your quest had, um, you know, opened the ID card door as an objective, you could then fill these in, select the quest that you want to you want to set the stage of, select the stage that you want it to be, which would be my stage, and then, or my fail stage would be, again, if you don't have the card, it would come up and say, select the ID card, you find the ID card, but I'm not going to have any of that for purposes of this tutorial. And that is literally it. So now the way we've set it up is if a player activates the ID card, and they haven't got the card, the player is going to save this reaction, so they're going to say, oh, I need a key card. 
So the player can then look for this ID card here, pick it up, and if they do have it, it's going to activate the linked reference, which is going to cause that door to swing open. So I'm just going to jump into the game now and demonstrate how that works. Okay, so we're inside the uh, interior I made before. It looks terrible because we haven't set up any lighting for it. But we'll just go over to this. Don't have the card. No, I don't have the card. Need to find the card. Yeah. I have to find the card. And obviously, this is not a proper door, so you can't go through. It's just an activator. But fortunately, tutorial ID card is just here. We can pick it up. And... There we can go inside. And... I mean, that's basically it, that's all there is to it. Only a short one today, so hopefully that was clear and useful. Uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.